if I can get pregnant? Why would you do that? I was about to die. Welcome back to Marshall Mondays. Today's story time is gonna be about the real reason why I had my son. You're gonna get the exclusive right here on Marshall TV. Before I met my son's father, I was in a really dark place. I was trying to find any way or anyone that could help me to find myself. I, I can say I was in a vulnerable, I was definitely in a vulnerable space during this time. Getting over a heartbreak from my previous relationship and it was devastating. If you go back and watch my story time, how to move on after a heartbreak, that story tells a lot about how this story came about. That story led up to a lot of the reason of why I got to a depression and I got to this space of vulnerability. At this point, I was at a space of who can take me? You, anybody to love me completely. In that last relationship, I gave all of me. I completely lost myself. I didn't know what I liked. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was just accepting applications to anyone that wanted to love me. <laughs> Even if it was fake love, I didn't even know at that point because I was just so naive and vulnerable to love. I was suffering from abandonment. I'm a true believer in whatever happens, it happens for a reason. At the time of whenever I had my kid, everyone would always say to me, why didn't I choose to have my kid with my ex? Because of him being wealthy. To be honest, when I was in that high maintenance relationship, my concern and my overall goal was never about chasing someone for money. During that time, I was a very like naive young girl that just loved everyone and bubbly and outgoing, giving out pure genuine love to people, not even thinking that someone would hurt me at all. So after that relationship, it really broke me into pieces. When I met my son's father, I accepted him with open hands. I was at the place where I didn't care who he was. <laughs> he was giving me so much of his time. He made me very important and valuable to him. He was giving me everything that I needed. I got pregnant the third month of knowing him. <laughs> Did I get to know him? No. I definitely should have took the time out to get to know who he was as a person. <laughs> ah, the mistakes we make as kids. The growth and how far I have come, woo, tremendous. At that time, I didn't think that I could get pregnant. This is how naive and crazy I was back then. So I was just like playing around and was, let's see if I can get pregnant. What, Marshall? Why would you do that? And what do you know? First time shawty. I get pregnant on the first try. <laughs> I was devastated because I didn't think that it could happen. I don't know, maybe because before I never tried to get pregnant. Duh, Marshall, like what? Who does that? Yes, I intentionally got pregnant. I was in desperate need of unconditional love, genuine love from someone that could be my best friend forever. I was looking at this like, oh my gosh, my son or my child can be my best friend forever. I, and they will love me unconditionally. So why not just have a permanent person? <laughs> and that's exactly what I got. Ask and you shall receive. That is a true thing. It wasn't until immediately after I was pregnant, I began to rethink this. Now, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, like the things that used to go through my mind in that young stage. So that brings me to the point of you really have to love on yourself because during that time, I was in such desperate need for anyone to love me that I was willing to do anything necessary to feel that love, that unconditional love. After I got pregnant, it just like dawned on me. I'm like, I just got pregnant by somebody that I don't know. Ma, what did I do? I don't know what to do. What should I do, mom? I definitely contemplated for a while. 
and one day I got sick. I was six weeks pregnant. I started to feel like I was about to die. And I said, I know you lie. <laughs> I was like, this cannot be real. Nobody tells you that pregnancy is not fun sometimes. Like some people pregnancy, I hear that some people have great pregnancies and then some people just have horrible pregnancies. I'm, I'm dramatic. Everything was hurting. I felt like I was about to die. And then when I went to the hospital, they put the IVs in me and they took my blood and they was trying to figure out what was going on with me. The doctor came back and told me I was dehydrated. <laughs> and then they put the baby on the monitor. And that was the first time that I seen my baby's head, arms, and legs. He was a little 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 baby like this little and so my mom looked at me she said we can't he's ours and i just like cried because i was just like oh my god what am i doing like what am i doing at the time i was in between figuring out what i wanted to do before i ran off into a relationship focusing on that person's career being supportive to them and i wasn't even thinking about what i wanted to do in my life me being pregnant at that time i was 22. it really put the pressure on for me to figure out like marcia what do you want to do with your life because now you're <laughs> Have a kid that you purposely brought into this world. You have to now figure it out for real. So that's why I say I really feel like everything is a blessing in disguise because to be honest, I probably wouldn't have been this far in life at a, such a young age if I didn't have my son back then. Me having a kid, I was already a lot ahead my age range because of my mom starting me out with doing real estate at an early age. So I was already ahead, but then once I had a kid, I had to put the metal to the pedal. I don't know if that's, that's how it goes. I had to put the metal to the pedal, pedal to the metal. I, I don't know, but yeah. So <laughs> I figured it out really early. I got my real estate license. So by the time Mason came, I was super prepared super mom <laughs> i just knew immediately what to do and how to be a mom when my son came so yeah that concludes my video and my story time on the real reason why i had my son so guys if you like this video or if this video is very helpful or inspirational to you go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video all right, guys, thank you for watching. See you next Monday.